Charlotte here. So today we are talking about Samhain and I have my witch's hat on for the occasion and more specifically I'm going to be showing you how I like to set up an altar for this particular holiday. But before I jump into that I thought I would share a few facts about Samhain. So Samhain is one of the Wiccan holidays and it kind of marks the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the colder half of the year. And it's usually celebrated on October 31st, though some pagans actually celebrate Samhain around kind of November 6th and 7th because that is the exact midpoint between the autumn equinox and the winter solstice. And Samhain is considered to be one of the cross-quarter days. So if you think of the wheel of the year, you have your solstices and your equinoxes, those are the quarter days, and the points in between are the cross-quarter days. And some witches even consider Samhain to be the witch's new year, or kind of a version of like a spiritual new year. And one of the interesting things about this time period is it's considered to be when the veil between the mundane world and the spiritual world is at its thinnest, which is why you've probably heard plenty of stories from people who have experienced some type of paranormal <laughs> event around this time of year. And the main thing with Samhain that you want to be thinking about is at its core, this is a holiday about remembering our ancestors. And Samhain is just one of the many holidays around the world where people celebrate their loved ones that have passed on. There are many out there like Dia de los Muertos in Mexico or Oban in Japan, for example. And if you are interested in learning more about Samhain, its traditions and its history, I'll link below a video I did a couple years ago that goes into much more detail all about Samhain. So let's jump right in in talking about how to set up an altar for this particular holiday. So the first thing you're going to need to think about is where you want to put it. And you really just need any clear surface in your home. And I personally have two different altars. One is a bookcase near my desk and I don't really move that altar around very much. It holds my favorite tarot decks and crystals and incense and things like that. And then my second altar is behind me. So I use the mantle on my fireplace as an altar and I like to change it up for each new Sabbath. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So there are many different objects you can put on your Samhain altar. The most important one would probably be pictures of loved ones that have passed on because at its core Samhain is all about remembering our ancestors. And because it marks the end of the harvest season, you can put certain harvest foods like pumpkins, gourds, squash, Indian corn, pine cones, anything you find around as a representation of this particular season. And it's always fun to add a few candles to your altar. I mostly have white candles on my altar, but if you'd like to use the colors associated with Samhain, you can definitely do that as well. So some of the colors you might want to use would be white, black, red, or orange, of course. At this time of year, we're trying to become more comfortable with the concept of death. So I like to put a few memento mori on my altar. A memento mori is just a reminder of death, a reminder that eventually we will pass on. So here I'm using a skull and I'm also using the death card from one of my favorite tarot decks. Another thing you can add would be images or statues of any deities associated with death and the afterlife. So here I have a statue of Odin that I got from Sweden, and I also have a poster of Ma'at from the Egyptian pantheon. 
One of the things I really like to put on my altar is an offering of a beverage for those that have passed on. And there are kind of two ways you can go about doing this. So the offering could be to remember your ancestors from long ago, or the offering can be to remember those in your family that have passed on. So my dad was partial to good whiskey, so I personally like to leave out a little dram of whiskey to honor him. So that's how I like to set up my Samhain altar. Though keep in mind that how I like to do it might be very different than how you do it. And of course, paganism is a lot about connecting with nature. So if where you live doesn't exactly look like pumpkins and gourds this time of year, you don't necessarily need to put them on your altar. You can put items that better reflect the current climate of where you live. And remember that with paganism, there really isn't any rule book. You have the freedom to make your practice your own. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would really help me out a lot if you liked and subscribed down below. And thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed Samhain. Bye!